will explain how to compute the population variance, population standard deviation, and sample variance and sample standard deviation. And it is very important for us to understand the difference between the population and the sample. So as a part of the prerequisite, uh, we're going to uh, work on this problem first. So when we see in a problem like this, um, or when we are presented with a data set, uh, we have to look at the context and identify whether we are dealing with the entire population or a sample. So in this case, the phrase all sides tells us that this is the entire population and we have done the census and therefore we're going to adopt the following notation for the size, the mean, uh, the variance and the standard deviation. So we use capital N and the Greek letters um, for when dealing with the population. Now, if we were dealing with a sample, so let me just generate a couple of new problems here. So how do we know we're dealing with a sample? Again, something in the problem, something in the context will identify a sample as a sample. And when we have a sample, we are going to use the lowercase n and the other option than Greeks. So instead of mu, we're going to use x bar. Instead of sigma, we're going to use s. So this is the first step. Every time we have a data set, we have to clearly identify the context and decide whether we are dealing with the population or a sample because that implies certain notation. So if we go back to this problem uh, and we read it again, we'll notice that, hey, this is a population and uh, because of that we're going to adopt the appropriate notation that is the sample size will be the capital N, the average will be the mu and the variance will be sigma squared and the standard deviation will be sigma so therefore in this formula we will be subtracting mu and uh, in this formula uh, when we divide the total by something that something will be the capital N. Now that we filled out all these uh, drop downs, now we're going to continue vertically from top down, from left uh, to the right. And the first column that we're working on, it's nothing but the data that is presented to us right here. Um, we usually organize it vertically to be able to perform all of these computations when we do it by hand. So the missing piece of data is 14. Now we have to compute the average, and to find the average, we add all of this together and divide it by the sample size, which is five. So I'm just going to use a built-in calculator. So I'm just going to type this formula, um, and any calculator can be used. And we're dividing by five, and the average is 13. So what does that mean? That means now in this formula, we are putting 13 for mu, and we're putting x uh, sub i obtained from each row here. So for the formula in the first row, we're going to take x sub i 13, we're going to subtract this 13, and we're going to get this uh, 13 minus 13 squared is 0. We can check that here. It's going to be kind of too simple, but we can just type this formula in any browser and it will tell us, it will confirm us that, hey, this is zero. Now, here's what's going to happen if we replace the first 13 with, let's say, 15. So what's going to happen here is we're going to obtain this number 4, which is right here. So what's going to happen if we replace 15 with 14? We're going to get this number 1 right here. So when we are asked to find the square of a difference for the third entry, what do we do? We just take number 12 and we put it into the formula instead of this uh, 14 and you square it and we get 1. Now to find the total it's literally just the total so we just have to add all the entries in this uh, last uh, column. So I'm going to do that so 0 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 10 so the total is 10 and now according to this formula we're going to take the total and we're going to divide it by n, which is 5. So I'm going to take the total 10 divided by n5, and I got uh, 2. 
And now the last step to compute the standard deviation, we have to take the square root of what the variance is. So in this case, it's the square root of 2. So the answer is 1.41. We run to two decimal places. So we stay at 1.41. And that's it. So we did find the population standard deviation and the population um, variance. So let's try another version of this problem. And let me just generate a couple. And let's try this one. So what's the difference between this version and the previous one is that this one is actually in this one, we're going to be dealing with the A sample. And what does that mean? That means we're going to choose this notation. So we're going to be using lowercase n. We're going to be using x bar. Um, we're going to be using uh, s and s squared. And here in this formula, we again will be using x bar. And in this formula, we'll be using n minus 1. Why? So again, so we can get the unbiased estimate for the population variance, because uh, this is one of the most common uses of the sample variance. This is the reason why we divide by n minus 1. But again, it's just part of the formula, so let's compute everything. Uh, we're going to continue from top down, from left to right. So the first thing we're going to compute here, not even compute, but just fill in the blank. We're going to take this last entry and put it here. And now we're going to find the average. And again, I'm just going to use a basic calculator. Uh, 12 plus 10 plus 9 plus 14 plus 12, all that divided by 5, uh, we get 11.4. And now in this formula, the missing part is the mean, so it's 11.4. And just to check that we are on track here, I'm going to type this formula up here. And I expect after I press enter to get what? I expect to get point, uh, 36, And that's exactly what we get. So again, if I, instead of 12, put 10, I expect to get 1.96. Let's try that. Yep, we're getting that. So now, for computing this part of the uh, table, for the third entry, 9, all I have to do is just replace 10 with 9, press Enter, and that's just 5.76. And uh, now we have uh, done with the last column, uh, so we can continue and compute the total. Again, that's just literally what it says. It's just the total. I'm going to type it up here. Uh, the total is 15.2. And we now divide the total by n minus 1, but n is 5. So if n is 5, n minus 1 will be 4. So I'm actually going to divide 15.2 by 4, which is 3.8. So this is my variance. And to find the standard deviation, I'm going to take the square root of 3.8. Point eight. And square root of 3.8 is just 1.949, and I'm going to round it to two decimal places, uh, and it becomes 1.95. And that's it. We finished uh, um, the computation of the variance instead of deviation, and we um, did it for both the population and the sample cases.